So, so these are my devices I have in my system. And you, so you can see that the Amsterdam site is quite built out. Uh, Sydney is not built out yet, the S S Sydney uh, uh, location or site. And uh, part of the demo this morning is we're going, or today is we're going to be building out that kind of from both sides and, and we'll be able to see how the data moves back and forth between the two systems. So again, we're pushing data from that box to service now. So as an example, I can take an existing device and I can decide, let's, let's edit it uh, just for, to keep it simple. Let's give it a serial number. Uh, so, you know, maybe we forgot to put a serial number and let's uh, let's give it an asset tag at the same time. And so if I if I save this, so I make a change in Netbox. So now these changes are reflected in um, in Netbox. I should see these changes reflected in ServiceNow. So I'm going to go to uh, to my uh, device table to see all my Netbox devices. I see that I have my uh, the switch in question that's uh, synchronized. And if I go into uh, to view it, um, and then I should see, I'm just, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I can see that I have my serial number that I had just added to it was uh, was synchronized here. And I think it's in a different, actually, I can see my asset tag here tied to the asset uh, as well. So you can see that the information was kind of, uh, you know, uh, event triggered uh, based on an update in, uh, in Netbox. So similarly, uh, so that was just an update to a field, I can actually create new things. So for example, if I want to start building out my uh, my Sydney site, I might say, well, let, let's start, let's create, let's put a wireless access point. So we'll do, uh, so we'll add uh, the, um, an access point to the, uh, the Sydney uh, site. We'll say, you know, this is a wireless access point. We'll say this is a Meraki device. Uh, and we'll obviously need to put it into the Sydney office. And again, we could we could give it uh, you know uh, we could give it a serial number. We can give it uh, an asset tag. We can do all the classic things, and then uh, I can create that device. And so once I once I create that device, uh, again, if I go back to uh, to service now, I should see that device being created. And it might take a a, a, a few seconds to create. Uh, but the device will uh, pop up in a minute. And Richard, that's uh, literally just happening. In the, there's nothing you do from it else you do from a netbox standpoint there. That's just purely automatically triggered, and the synchronization happens uh, in real time, right? Uh, yep, I, I would call it very near real time. Within a few yep. seconds, it should happen, depending on um, you know uh, how things are are uh, you know, how things time up to each other. But within a few seconds, the the the, the change should be reflected there. Right. Yep. So we can see that we have our wireless access point is now created in the ServiceNow uh, tables uh, for um, for synchronization. So this this kind of covers this first use case. Uh, so again, this is where Netbox is acting as a system of record. Another scenario we've heard is the scenario where ServiceNow is the system of record. So people want to push the data from ServiceNow to Netbox and and have uh, service now be the system of record. Um, so again, we'll we'll kind of uh, jump back into uh, into our demo here and uh, kind of show you a little bit uh, kind of behind the covers. But essentially, um, we have uh, by object type we define which direction the data should be uh, should be going. So in this case, what this is saying is that for all object types, I'm importing from Netbox and. I'm not uh, not exporting anything. Uh, everything it, else is false. So for our purposes today, I'm just going to turn all of these uh, to false. So I'm going to stop importing from that box, and then I'm going to start exporting from uh, from ServiceNow to NetBox. So now we've made uh, by doing this, we've actually made uh, ServiceNow the source of truth for this. So similarly to what we did previously. If I go and and uh, look at any device that's uh, that I have in here, um, I can actually um, you know I can add uh, actually I can take the same access point or I can take a different one. Actually, let's uh, let's 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 take uh, this one uh, as an example. So this is the one from the Amsterdam data center. But in this case, I can give it a serial number, and uh, and I'm just to keep it simple, I'm going to save it right here. And then this will trigger uh, the same type of workflow, and we should find the uh, that access point in Amsterdam. Uh, that was access point one, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
and it uh, and it's got a serial number it was updated. So uh, I'll, if I create a device from here, so in this case, let's create the uh, the um, the uh, the router that's missing in the Sydney uh, data center. So I'm going to create the the router there. I'm going to I'm going to make it a device uh, IP router. Uh, let's make it a Cisco device. It's going to be an ISR. And um, and then I'm going to put it in the Sydney location. Now um, I'm just uh, I'm going to give you a hint of what's coming up uh, uh, in a in we're going to be talking about in a quick second. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to leave the NetBox synchronized checkbox on to mean I want this to be synchronized with NetBox. But notice that the IP address is empty right now. I'm not doing anything with it, uh, and we'll get to that in a second. There's there's a business workflow that's going to kick in. Uh, to provision an IP address to this router. And we'll be talking about that in a few minutes. So if I submit that, um, so now I've created uh, my uh, my Sydney uh, router. And if I go into NetBox, I should now be able to see that uh, that router. So here's here's the router that was just created uh, in, in the Sydney data center. So that's the, uh, the uh, sorry, apologies for that. So that's the use case where the data is actually being pushed uh, from ServiceNow as the system of record to NetBox. And then, well, there's the, the hybrid case. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm sure you guys have, uh, are ahead of me on this one. Uh, and that's just simply the idea that instead of doing one all of one or all of the other, selectively, you can choose which of the objects you want to flow in which direction. Uh, again, in the demos I provided is I kind of went all, all one way, all the other way, uh, but it supports it on a per object basis. So uh, this example I'm showing on the screen right now is to, is is what I would call metadata. So you know, things about locations and companies and, and things like that often are already stored in service now. So why replicate them uh, manually in NetBox? Why not just have them push to NetBox? But things like that are more network specific, like the devices themselves and potentially maybe the device definitions that come with them, uh, push those to uh, service now. So I'm not going to demonstrate this. Uh, I think 